Okay, so today we're going to switch gears a little bit and talk about the right circular cone. And like the other kinds of 3D objects, we're going to talk about its volume, its lateral area, and its total area. So the volume of a right circular cone is equal to one-third pi r squared times height. Now remember, when we talk about the height, we're talking about this height that is drawn in perpendicular to the base. So say this is the center of this circle, and it's drawn perpendicular from the top of the cone to the center of the circle. Okay, so to solve the volume of this cone, we're going to take one-third pi r, which is 3, squared times our height, which is 4. So v is equal to 1 third, 9 squared is 9 pi times 4. 1 third of 9 is 3, so 3 pi times 4. So the volume of this cone is, that should be 12 pi, and if this had said centimeters, it would be centimeters cubed because volume is always a three-dimensional measure. Okay, so to find the lateral area of a cone, you take pi times r times your slant height. And this gives you, um, you know those little paper cups that come with the water bubblers? It, pretend that's what we had, and that's our cone. If we were finding the lateral area, it would be us unrolling that paper cup and laying it flat and finding the area of the triangular shape that we have left. So to do this, it's pi times r, which is 3, times our slant height, which is this height right here. It's the height that makes a right triangle with the regular height and the radius. So to do this, we're going to have to use our Pythagorean theorem to find out what our slant height is. So 3 squared plus 4 squared equals x squared. 9 plus 16 is equal to x squared x squared is equal to 25. If we take the square root of both sides, we get x is equal to 5. So this is 5. So for our lateral area, it's pi times 3 times 5. So we would have 15 pi, and if we had units, it would be units squared, because whenever we find an area, we're finding a two-dimensional measure. So to find our total area, we have to take what our lateral area is, which we find by taking pi times our radius times our slant height. And we're going to add it to the area of this circle, so pi r squared. So pi times our radius, which is 3, times our slant height, which we just found a minute ago to be 5, plus pi r, which is 3, squared. So our total area is equal to 3 times 5, 15 pi plus 9 squared is 9, or excuse me, 3 squared is 9. So our total area is equal to 24 pi units squared. Um, that's actually all we have today dealing with the right circular cone. Um, but make sure you come back to our next and watch our next video, which is all about logic and certain statements we use to prove things.